my promise when I said that I was gonna make a video for Inca Gold and how to stop it from getting moldy inside. Now I, I've understood that this is also happening with the Nouveau Mousse and it has also happened to me. Now I have, um, I haven't actually counted, I put it on the table but I never counted them. So let's see, a lot. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I have twelve. I have various colors. Uh, this is orange, and I've got turquoise, and I've got green, yellow, and I've got violet, and this is my favorite. Cobalt blue, alt, old silver, alt silbre, or something in this foreign language. And this is hematite, I think. It's not spelled the same. Just silver and, well, anyway, I've got them all. So this is lava and this one is also very pretty. And that's steel blue. Okay, so I have all these Inca Golds and each and every one of them has gotten mold in them. So each one of these cost $8. Eight times 14 is more than I can count without a calculator. And I'm not gonna try to figure it out, but you know, I did know I was not throwing them out. I know that some people who have purchased from Tonic, the Nouveau Mousse, uh, put in for a refund or an exchange and they were very courteous to them. But I don't have any such uh, relationship with Viva Decor, which is, by the way, the maker of Inca Gold. Now, be that as it may, in my situation, I just had at it and I went in and I just emptied and cleaned off all of the the beeswax inside, that is what it's made, by the way, with is a base of beeswax, which is an organic material, or excuse me, not organic, but a natural material. And anything that's a natural material will naturally degrade. So how and why are our Inca Gold and Viva Decor Mousse, or excuse me, the uh, Nouveau Mousse going bad? Why are they growing Petri dishes and stuff? Well, it's because it is a natural-based product, and usually we're using our natural-based fingers to use it on our project. Sometimes we're not. Sometimes natural deposits can happen when we have them open, or perhaps on the brushes or the sponges that we're using to use these beautiful colors on our projects. I have used these with watercoloring. They work famously. They are rewettable. I have uh, come to understand that Nouveau Mousse is not rewettable, but I, I'll show you right quick actually while I'm here that these are in fact rewettable. I tried to make a video live, but for some reason that really cute little app, Streamlabs, is not working. So I was having one of those days, everyone. I was having one of those days. So I'm gonna to try to re-wet one of these and you just watch it, don't re-wet for me. No, there it goes, yay! And you can just use it again. It's faint right now because I haven't gone to town on it to make it wake up. But yes, these are all re-wettable. Actually, I took this palette from the bottom drawer of my little desk that I have next to me just now. And I can do whatever I want, it's a paint. Now, of course, when you, you do use these, you can seal it with any kind of Krylon spray or even uh, hairspray, like you would do if you were sending watercolors through the mail. So they are rewettable, just wanted to point that out. Put my paintbrush away. So, I'm gonna open these. Now, I have treated all of these containers <coughs> 
with a 90, 99% alcohol or a 91.9, I could be wrong. Anyway, it was the strongest alcohol that you can buy in the store. So what I did was I cleaned all these out with the paper towel. I, I removed whatever moldy residue was in there. And then what I did was I filled this, this mister by Ranger and I sprayed two sprays of alcohol, regular alcohol, you could buy this at the grocery store, into each one of these Viva Decor um, Ink Gold, excuse me, Ink Gold. I sprayed it twice in each one and I closed them. I put them in my pretty cookie jar and they sat there. They've been down there for, I guess, about a month and a half. And so today I'm gonna open them up and we're gonna see if it worked, if it kept the mold away. So let's just look, because I do tend to use my fingers when I'm doing this actually. So yeah, okay. So there's my turquoise. Can't see my camera, but there's my turquoise. There is no mold. Very good. Let's open the orange. And again, there is no mold. There's my green yellow green and there is no mold. Now, is it still working? Does this, does my Nuvo Mousse still work? Let's see. Oh yeah, smooth as ever. So let's see. Let me rub it against my embossed card image. Yeah, it works fine. Yep. Yep, works great. Okay, so we now have accomplished that it works and there's no mold. So that's a win-win. I like that. <clears throat> Let's see purple. Because I want to check them all because I want I don't want to say that this works if it doesn't work on all of them. Which is kind of scary on a video, but I suppose I could always try something new and retape. No, look at that. Pretty pretty. That's my copper. Okay, now this is purple. No mold. Of course, now that I put my finger in there, I'm gonna squirt it once with my alcohol and I'm gonna close it. And I think I used the green, so I'm gonna do that too. And that's gonna be it, I'm gonna close it. And that's gonna prevent any kind of mold from growing in my Inca Gold. <clears throat> Let's open this one. Very good, no mold. So this works, guys. It's just a spray or two of alcohol inside of your Inca Gold or inside of your Nouveau Mousse, and I bet you it'll work in that too. Oh, isn't that just the most beautiful color? I love blue, it's so pretty. No mo no, no mousse, <laughs> there's no mold. <laughs> Perfect, no mold. Just wanna go through them all. Don't want to be accused of fake news. Very good. Now I haven't put my fingers in this one or the ones previous that I had opened before, other than the ones you saw. So I don't have to respray. Yes, no mold. Very good, no mold. Okay, everybody, that's what I would do. Yes, they still work. No, it doesn't, it doesn't, it does not affect the performance of the Inca Gold by spraying alcohol on it once you've used it. It's been a month and a half. These are doing fine. They work perfectly as you saw as I displayed on that card. They are rewettable as I showed you on this palette. And that's where we stand on keeping our Viva Decor Inca Gold mold free. I hope this is helpful. I want to say hello to my new subscribers and welcome you and uh, hang on to your Inca Gold and, and your uh, Nouveau Mousse if you can and try to keep it staying around a little longer by using this alcohol spray. One spray will do you. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.